isn't this the life? No tsunamis, no headless horsemen, and no annoying workmates. Huh? Oh, right, you're here. I'm not annoying, am I? Oh, not at all. Careful, Ted. Say the wrong thing and you might lose out on tickets to Wicked. It's not that you're annoying. It's just that you're a handful. That means annoying. Ted, what are you doing? Well, it's not that. It's just I need time to myself. Away from your annoyingness. What the actual? I see how it is. Great. Now who's going to take us to Wicked? We can ask Jerry. Ooh, that's a great idea. Let's ask the gambling addict who blows all his money in pokies and horse races. Thanks. Thought of that one myself. Now I know why you're the smart one. Wait a minute, does that mean I'm dumb? Be smarter, Ted. Do it for us. I would, but I'm on vacation. Damn you, Ted! Or me! This is so confusing. So what do you want to do today for our vacation? Let's go to the beach again. Nah, we've already found buried treasure, spotted mermaids, and fought for the attention of some nice ladies. There's not much else we can do at the beach. We can search for Atlantis. Nah, I don't think our budget could handle going to Atlantis. I'm pretty sure it's free to enter the sunken city. Not what I meant, but moving on. I know, let's go for a hike in the forest. That sounds great. Wait, why did you want to come to the forest? There isn't a hidden agenda, is there? We're going to hunt yetis. Yetis? Yeah. In the summer? It's when they least expect to be hunted. I'm as much of a yeti believer as the next guy, but hunting them in the summer is like the biggest goose chase ever. The ultimate goose chase. Well, let's turn back. Oh, hey, we're here anyway. We may as well go on the walk. And if we happen to see a yeti, then lucky us. Did you say yeti? We came here to find them. Oh, I saw a yeti once. You did? Can you tell us more? Yes, well, it was a cold winter's day. I remember it like it was yesterday. Some ants walked across the path as a minor bird, no, sparrow, chirped in the tree. The radio in the car was broken, so I was listening to the birds instead. Good morning, Townsville. I assume you guys are used to Ted Bear. Well, I'm Ozzy Al. I'm his replacement for a little while. In the news today, nothing. Huh. That's weird. Does Ted normally have it this easy? Hmm. I wonder if he's having fun right now. And so I got out of my car and started to walk down this very path you're about to walk down. I saw a wallaby hop on by. There were two of them. They were harmless as I felt the cold breeze brush past me. That's when I realized I left my sweater in the car. So I went to get the sweater out of my car and then I locked the doors again. Man, I would kill just to be back in the studio right now. I bet Ozzy is having a lot more fun than us. Breaking news, I'm bored. Please let something newsworthy happen soon. Until then, let's go to the replacement weatherman. I think I left a box of donuts in the staff room fridge. Where was I? Oh yes, I took the shortcut that was covered in leaves and... Okay, but can we get to the part about the eddy? I'm getting to that part. Where was I? I lost my train of thought. Better start from the beginning again. It was a cold winter's day. I remember it like it was yesterday. Some ants walked across the path as... Okay, but can you cut to the chase and just tell the story from where you first saw the Yeti? It was a cold winter's day. I remember it like it was yesterday. Ah, we have breaking news. Hit TV series The Gargoyle Prophecies has been renewed for a seventh and final season. It's been a very good run and it'll be good to go out with a bang before it all gets bad, but it's sad nonetheless. Many are already mourning the loss of one of their favorite TV series of the last few years. The trees around me were tall, tall enough to hide a yeti in plain sight. Oh no, that's terrible news. What? Now I'm depressed. What is it? Gargoyle Prophecies is ending after season seven. Oh. 
That's it? You're not sad? I'm upset about it. You don't seem like it. Well, it's a TV show. And look at it this way. It's entering its seventh season. How many TV shows stay good after seven? Many shows struggle to stay good after three seasons. It's good that it will end on a high instead of a low like Cloud Muffin or Coffin Peaks. Except Coffin Peaks is still running. Yeah, and it's bad. Really bad. I guess you're right. Good to end on a high. Like, hey, if I was the star of a TV show, I most certainly would like to end before it all goes to crap. Really? How many seasons do you reckon? Well, I'm a bear who reports the news. It's not all that exciting. I'd give it three seasons at most before it goes bad. And that depends on how many episodes e each season has. 22? Well, we're in trouble. But if it was like, I don't know, four to eight episodes? It might work. Seems oddly specific. So you wouldn't do a season four? Well, I think four is pushing it. But I guess we'll wait and see, shall we? What are you looking at? Just pretending there's a camera watching us like a TV show. Oh, well, I don't think they'd be very entertained at the moment. We haven't found a Yeti. And we won't, because this old guy won't shut up and Jerry keeps letting him talk. While I waited for the Yeti to show, I counted how many nickels I had. Three of them, it turns out. But then I found out I had a fourth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It was the best moment of my life. That is, until I found the Yeti. So after counting my four nickels, I moved on to eating a sandwich I packed. A tuna sandwich. I made it at home at five in the morning, right before I got ready to hunt for Yetis. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh, gee. I don't know if we should leave. There could be a Yeti soon. There's no Yetis, and there's not even going to be a hike. We've just wasted a day of our vacation doing the most boring thing ever. If this was a TV show right now, viewers would be bored out of their mind. Summer vacation is meant to be fun. All right then, let's go. I feel like I've forgotten something. But I checked my bag, and everything's still there. Well, look at it this way. If you did forget something, it clearly wasn't important enough to remember. Yeah, I guess you're right. It couldn't have been too important. Guys?